Yo, what's going on, everyone? It's your boy D Lloyd, and welcome back to another episode of our Oakland Raiders NFL head coach series. So, we're going to be doing things just a little bit different. It's just kind of experimenting and see what's the best direction. So, the last video was like an hour and 45 minutes. So, what we're going to do here is definitely try to shorten up some of these episodes, but maybe get these episodes out more frequently. I think that could definitely be the move here. Um, I do understand some people don't have an hour and 45 minutes to devote to a video. So we're going to try that here. With that being said, I still don't know how long this video is going to be. But what we're going to address in this video really is free agency and then maybe preparing for the draft. I don't plan on getting the draft done in this episode. I feel the drafts probably needs its own dedicated video so that's what we're planning on doing right now i think we still have about three weeks after you look at the schedule we should still have about three weeks remaining before the draft so yes we're about three weeks out from the actual nfl draft unrestricted free agent is open now so we can go ahead and get a couple of guys now the first thing that we want to do with that is go after three guys i have them written down three guys that we want to go and call right away and they are the first guys that we want to try to bring in in um, free agency so of course once free agency slows up center is a position of need center is a position that i think we could go after and really actually upgrade right some of these guys especially as we get later in the free agency aren't really going to be upgrades they're just more for depth but of course Corey holsey is the guy we let go we're going to try to replace him with Chris Terry. Now, he's a year older. He's 30 years old, but 6'5", 295. His overall is between a 75 and a 92. Like I said, I don't remember how regression exactly works, but you should still have a couple of years left, at least two years left of prime Chris Terry, especially at that linebacker. I'm a lineman position. So we have $24 million in cap space. So we have to see how much he's going to want, but he's the first guy that we're going to call. So let's see what happens. Let's go ahead and get negotiations starting. Starting two-year deal, which is right up our alley for literally $4.58 million and under a million dollar signing bonus. I don't think we need to negotiate. I think this is done. It's a great deal. Let's go ahead and get this one done. So we get a center relatively cheap, um, in my opinion. And yeah, I don't, I don't mind that one at all so we have him down check now the next guy is at safety now this is not an initial need it's not something we need right away but he's too good to just kind of pass up and not even take a shot at him and let's see if we can find him on this list and bam there it is lance shoulders he's 31 so he's up there in age as well but 74 to 93 when it comes to his overall very very solid we have $21.5 million left. Let's see what his agent is talking about when we call him up. Now, remember, we can only do three of these per free agency little time slot in our calendar. So let's see what he's looking for. Three-year deal, $5.9 million, million dollar signing bonus. That doesn't sound bad, but we're going to try to get him on a two-year deal possibly and see if we just raise that bonus up just slightly. That can convince him to sign so we took away a year but we did upgrade his signing bonus a little bit just because i don't want to be on that hook really for that third year let's see if they take this bam negotiations does not seem that tough in this game at all hopefully you know um it stays like that and the last guy that we definitely want to talk to right now is another position that we could definitely upgrade just because our guys currently are extremely old i believe our starter is 38 years old so let's see if we can find hunt he's somewhere in here like i said they really need to do a little bit better job when it comes to organization but there we go clidius i think his name is clidius hunt 30 years old also up there in age but we have 19 million in cap space we're going to call him up and we're going to see because this guy, I think, could start for us right away, of course. And the five-year deal, I can tell you right now, that is not that is not going to happen. At the age of 30, I'm not committing to nobody for five years. But the 67 to 87 range is solid. So let's go maybe at a three-year deal. And I think that sounds 
way better. So it's all from that just at three years. So no, okay. So I was just talking about how easy this thing was. We finally got somebody to say no, really. So he still wants a five-year deal. We're not, we're not doing that, dude. Of course, money talks, right? So let's give him a little bit more guaranteed because we are taking some years off. But bam, didn't seem too hard at all. So first day done. And we went three for three. We got our guys in here. Um, we can see our depth chart quickly. I don't know if they automatically go there. Let's go to reorder. Oh, we can't do it right now. But let's see. Yeah, they put Chris Terry in at center already. So we kind of see an overview, right, of our roster. So quarterback position, Kerry Collins. I think we're going to look to try to draft a quarterback. And that's a start right away. I think Kerry Collins will be our quarterback at least for season one. But we're going to look and maybe see if we can get somebody for the future. If not, Kerry Collins is going to be the guy we may look in the draft in the upcoming year to replace Kerry Collins. Um, running back, we do have Lamont Jordan. I like him. 5'11", 230, so a bigger back. Doesn't have quite the speed that you would love, but the 65 to 89 range, I think is very, very solid. We have Jerry Porter. For whatever reason, they have him as our number one wide receiver. We will change that, of course, once we get into training camp, but 73 to 88 overall, 89 speed, 28 years old. But then we have the guy, Randy Moss, 87 to 98 overall rating with 97 to 99 speed, 88 to 97 catching. I mean, this dude definitely has it all. He's going to be our number one wide receiver. And then, of course, we have Doug Gabriel, who's 6'2", 215, 64 to 79. Then we have Ronald Curry, who I think we're going to try to trade here in a second because we have Doug Gabriel. So we look very solid. Left tackle is good. Left guard has the potential to be good. He could go up to an 88 overall. Chris Terry, we just signed him. We're comfortable there. Ron Stone, old, but we're comfortable at least for this season. Then Robert Gallery, he's good as well. Tight end, we're going to address that here in a second. So I think overall we look good offensively. Defensively, left end, still could use an upgrade, right? But Bobby Hamilton does have the potential to go up to an 83 overall. So it's not 100% terrible with our situation there. But he's still 35 years old. We definitely probably still want to upgrade that here at some point. Now, Clidius Hunt, we just signed him. He's already our best defensive tackle, 69 to 85 overall. And then we have Ted Washington, who was the previous number one guy, 38 years old, 67 to 79 range. Then we have Warren Sapp, who's also really old. And maybe we might swap that because Warren Sapp does have the higher potential. Um, so maybe we'll swap that. We can't do it now, right, because we're not in the depth chart. Task. Yeah, so eventually we'll swap that. We'll move Warren Sapp to the number two and then have Ted Washington as our third defensive tackle. But I think we're solid there. Derek Burgess, we're good over there at right end. Cornerbacks, of course, for whatever reason. Um, see if we can pull him up. We have Charles Woodson on the bench, but he's going to be our number one guy. 79 overall, 97 is his max. So crazy good guy. And then, of course, we have Namdi Ansonwai, who's pretty decent, right? So he's those are going to be our two corners. I don't plan on really going after another one unless somebody falls to us in the draft. Left outside linebacker is a position we could definitely try to upgrade. But I think we may want to try to target that in the draft as well. Middle linebacker with Danny Clark. I think we may be okay. He has the 85 potential, 69 floor. I think we may be okay there. Kirk Morrison, young guy. I think he has room to grow and be pretty good. Then, of course, Derek Gibson is our strong safety. He could potentially be upgraded, but I don't think he's terrible. But then we just got Lance Schultz, who I think is going to be a great fit here for our team. So let's go ahead and go to the next task. See what we have. Really just sign players. Yeah, we'll go to sign players, and then we'll come back and – um look at the trade offer here in a second all right guys so we're back here the next day of signing now this is our keys to victory so basically our goals what we need to get accomplished now we have to have at least four outside linebackers three halfbacks and three defensive tackles so currently we have three outside linebackers two halfbacks and two or yeah two defensive tackles which 
isn't true. So um, I don't know why the defense tackle one hasn't upgraded, but we'll definitely look at outside linebackers, at least one probably left outside linebacker. I still want to address that in the draft, but just to kind of fill up that roster currently, um, have at least three halfbacks, which I'm pretty sure this, they're having me question my roster here a little bit. And that's something as a head coach, I definitely need to know every part of, right? So, yeah, we have the two halfbacks, which we can upgrade. But defensive tackles, we have three. So, I'm not quite sure where that one came from. But, nonetheless, you see our keys to victory. So, we definitely want to fill this thing up a little bit. So... I think for this period, we'll look at an outside linebacker, we'll look at a halfback, and we'll take a look at some of the middle linebackers and see who's at least out there um, that we could try to sign. We are running a little bit lower on cash flow, so these guys probably, none of them are going to be starter cal caliber players, but people who can maybe just come in and fill some depth for us, I think that's definitely... Um, what we're going to try to do right here. So, DeWan Green, that's who we ended up releasing, or we didn't re-sign him. You see the 41 to 66. Really a guy along those lines. We really don't need this guy to play a whole lot. Just somebody who'll be very, very cheap for us. And maybe have the range like this Leonard Henry, who could potentially be pretty decent. Jesse Chapman, 47 to 93. Range there. So, it's really just... I mean, I guess you have to see how they perform on the field, right? A lot of trial and error. Deshaun Foster, potentially 98. Of course, that is not his real range. But this should be a faster back. We can look at his stats right here. That definitely helps a little bit. He had 879 yards last season. I remember Deshaun Foster just being quick. And you see his speed could go up to a 99. So, tell you what, we'll call up Deshaun Foster's agent. See what they're talking about here. And hopefully they're not asking for a high number. So five years, $5.4 million. A little over a million dollars per year, which I don't mind. But I'm not giving them a five-year deal, dude. I don't. I understand they want security for their players. Let's go two years. Let's bump that up. Sign a bonus up a little bit. It seems to be working so far. Let's see if it works again. Bam. So. We do get another speedster here at running back to go with Jesse over Vargas. So, we get that one done. Not bad. We'll look at outside linebackers. See what left outside linebackers are out there. It's not a lot. It's definitely not a lot. But maybe somebody who could fill in. Shante Orr. Like I said, this is a position I want to really address in the draft. A lot of older guys here, but 67 to 84, 66 to 87. So, really, these guys don't look bad either between the two here. We're going to go with Nate Wayne. Like, there's no way for us to see anything else besides this screen here. So, literally, we are just going off of what you can be. I mean, this guy technically has a higher ceiling could technically have a higher ceiling so maybe we'll go with kevin hardy call him up see what he's asking for in terms of price so once again about a million dollars per just hit him with a one-year deal it's gonna take us down to 16 million in cap space and bam we got him so now we definitely need to start getting very very cheap here when it comes to the rest of these free agent guys So, I'm thinking, I'm a middle linebacker. We don't need a starter. We do not need a guy who will start. So, we'll go with maybe potentially Grant Wiley. He can't possibly ask for too much. 37 to 58 overall range. He can't possibly ask for that much money. $400,000. This is the type of guy we need just to fill up this roster. Bet we got that one done. 
So we're making we're making some progress here, guys. We are making a little bit of progress. And you see where we're at now. We just need two tackles, two more defensive ends, at least one more tight end, and three. Or one more defensive tackle, looks like, according to this list. Because they didn't give us credit for the other defensive tackle. So, it doesn't seem bad. Um, but we are going to go ahead and go to the trade task. And we're going to make a trade. Alright, so, we're about to go to the phone call here. And we're going to call up the New Orleans Saints once again. So, we talked to them before. And clearly, we know what they want. And they know what we want, right? We want a tight end. So, I'm going to go back to the same same trade offer, but i seen in the comment section, you guys, you guys had some suggestions. So, we're going to all base it around the same deal. So, Ronald Curry, a nice little decent wide receiver. We are going to all... Now, this is me being picky right now. We, we may adjust this. So, we're going to go ahead and offer a second round pick. Let's go to tight ends. We want Boo Williams. You guys give us Boo Williams. <laughs> and we're going to try this. I doubt it's going to happen, but let's see, right? Okay, bam. So, no. They're not feeling that well. We'll offer our first round pick for theirs. And see if we can move up five spots in the draft by making this trade. It's an A minus offer. I want an A plus offer. So I think we're close. We could potentially move up. Potentially. Um, a couple spots here in this draft. So I think. I think this may be worth it. Let's go ahead and try to maybe offer like a six. If that's an A minus offer, right? Can we. Just a little bit more. This is five spots, but this will give us the second overall pick in the draft, which will give us the ability, really, to get whoever we want. So let's go with a four. I don't want to go much higher than that. Maybe we'll look at a player after that. We're getting the same. We're getting the same answer. I don't know where they'll, where they will want to look. When it comes to just players. I don't mind trading Ted Washington. If they want an older defensive tackle. Let's try something like that. So, nope. They did not want to take the offer. I wonder if we could call them right back. I doubt it. It would be pretty interesting. Bam. We could call them right back. So, you thought you got rid of me? You did not. We're back. We're trying to hammer out this deal. So, we're going to go Ronald Curry again. We'll throw in. I mean, really, let's, let's look at their roster and see where they need help at. Just kind of be beneficial in that way. So quarterbacks, <laughs> their backup quarterbacks are trash. You have Aaron Brooks, and that's pretty much all you have. You have, Duke, you have, you have running backs. You have Deuce McAllister, you're good. Even though they drafted Reggie Bush in real life. Receiver, I mean, I really don't know why they need Curry, but... Sure. I wish there was just a faster way to be able to flip through this, you know? I mean, we really don't have the greatest line really to offer out. I see we do have we do have some decent middle linebackers. Nope, they're okay there. I mean it looks like they're pretty decent across the board, really. So, look at the defensive tackles. Maybe they could use Washington. That's the only thing I could truly think of.
But we know we could do the trade straight up. Ronald Curry for Boo Williams. Yes, yeah, so we'll go ahead and give you... I just got very, very cheap and didn't try to give up that first round pick. Let's try the second. Let's see if they'll get that deal done. Okay, so not even close. So we're going to offer that first round pick. Still try to move up those five spots in the draft. If not, we'll just do the trade straight up. You're so close to making this happen. We don't have any more spots available. So we're going to just stick at number seven in the draft. We're going to go ahead and get ourselves a tight end here. So Boo Williams, Ronald Curry, they offered it to us before. We declined. And it looks like now they don't want to do this deal straight up anymore. And now, I don't know if I want to add stuff to that. All right, so I'll tell you what, we're going to just walk away for right now. I don't really want to offer more. It's the principle, right? We had the deal. Yes, you know, I could have given you a little bit of interest by declining it the first time. I gave you the seventh pick. I don't, seventh round pick. Don't really want to go much higher than that. So we're off that. We're fine. Maybe they'll come back to me. Maybe we could do something during the draft. But for right now, we're going to just keep where we're at. We'll go back to signing more players. All right, so right now we're going to look at two tackles. And we're going to look at a tight end. Just to, once again to fill out our, our goals. I don't get fired, right? See what tight ends are out there. We may have to address tight end in the draft also. Pretty early. We'll see. I mean, there's a couple of decent guys. Teo Johnson. This was somebody we looked at before, really. But we're down to 14 million in cap space. So we're starting to run very, very tight. Four years, though, two point. <laughs> it's a pretty decent deal. All right, so we'll take $540,000 off in salary. And no, they did not do it. So they wanted a four-year deal. Let's bump that up one thing. All right, so I don't really... We'll just take the four-year deal. It's only 500000 a year. A little over $5,000 a year. We'll take the four-year deal. Get ourselves a tight end there. I know we really need a right tackle, but we'll look at our tackles. This guy's clearly, clearly a backup. Like 100, we are very good at our tackle positions. 100% a backup guy. So we just need somebody who's probably just going to be the cheapest out there. So we'll go with Damian Cook. You can't ask for too much money, can you? If you do, we're, we're never going to talk. There we go. It's my type of guy. 600000 One year. Let's get this out the way. We need another tackle. Let's get a left one. Same premise, right? Just get somebody literally as cheap as we can. Like the worst guy out here. And that looks like it could be Lance Nemo. Let's talk to him. 600000 for a year. Bam, let's get it done. And there we go. So we get the two tackles. Let's see where we are when it comes to our, our keys to victory. So right now. We only need a defense, two, well, one defensive end, no, two defensive ends, here, right? And a defense tackle, which we could get done in the next session. So we'll go ahead and we'll jump to that. All right, so I found out the problem as to why it's only showing that we have two defensive tackles. 
Ted Washington is holding out. Now, they did not tell me why he is holding out. Um, what we could do really to fix this problem. But he's holding out. So we're going to call his agent up. And he wants to renegotiate the contract. Or we could let him go. I don't know how much he's looking for. And at that price, whoo. I'm, I'm good. So maybe we could try to trade him. But that's the main reason why right there. He wants more money. He has two years left on his deal. So he thinks he's Ezekiel Elliott at this point. We don't have to do anything with you, dude. We can keep you on the team. You're 38 years old. You're on your last couple of years. I don't think you could last two more seasons. But we'll look at another defense tackle. Bring him in. Before we get to the draft, we'll try to trade him and see... Um, Really, if anybody will just take them, even for a lower pick, whatever the case may be. So for decent tackle, once again, I just don't want to go too. At some point, he's going to be a backup, so he's going to play. So let's look at somebody like this, 56 to 76. Shouldn't ask for too much money, but if he needs to play, he could be okay. And these five-year deals, man, I don't, <laughs> I do not know what's going on with those. One point five million for one year. Bam. All right. So we got a replacement there. We got the defense tackle. Let's get the two defensive ends, and let's really go from there. So same scenario, really, with these guys. Just get somebody cheap, somebody who could maybe step in if need be. But these four hundred and seventy thousand dollar guys, these are my type of players right here, right now. So we got the right end down. Get the left end down, and we should be good to go with our needs. Well, what they want us to get for the needs. So, let's see how much this guy's going to cost right here. Once again, five-year deal, dude. It's not, not going to happen. Let's go right there. Bam. Got the deal done. Really, the next thing for us to do, because we should be off this weekend, we are. So we'll come to the meetings. I'll always show it if, you know, there's something to be said at these meetings. We'll probably come back as scout players, but we want to schedule in a trade also. So maybe we'll schedule a trade on this Tuesday. But we'll go ahead and see if there's anything that they want to talk about during these meetings. All right, so we actually completed everything up until the draft so we're not going to sim to that period uh, just because like i said probably have the draft in its own episode but we should be able to skip to a trade period it's probably where we want to go so our owner likes how things are going this is good because we need to keep our job and to keep these paychecks coming in we have a trade offer for jerry porter they have a center i'm sorry bill, bill belichick we're good on that one we got a pretty good center so for us i don't think our staff really has much to say but we're going to go ahead and go to scout players start really really preparing for the draft we only have about two weeks left of scouting so we'll try that and then we'll readjust the trade market after that all right so with our scouting director here let's see let's just pick eight players we really don't have a lot of guys scouted and I think maybe that's a disadvantage, us not doing this. I don't know if you can scout during the regular season um, or not. So, really, I feel like we're, gonna, we're going in very blind. And with not having any, like, mock drafts, at least to my knowledge, we don't even know where these guys are projected, really, to go. So, draft is definitely going to be interesting. It is definitely going to be very, very, very interesting. So comes to players overall like i said i looked at a back of a quarterback spot and i don't know how far some of these guys are going to go you have a tavares jackson maybe who could fall um you know vince young's gonna go high you know jay cutler's gonna go high we picked seven maybe a brody Coyle could fall down to us just to be a solid you know guy who could be there and and be decent but really don't love the quarterback class at all running backs Really, let's be real. Reggie Bush somehow fell to seven. 
I mean, we're, we're grabbing him, right? He has the 96 to 99 speed, has a great overall. But even then, like maybe Linda White, but I think we're okay with what we currently have at running back. So it's definitely not a pressing need for us there either. I feel the same thing about wide receiver. I'm perfectly fine with Jerry Porter, Randy Moss. Tight end, though, is definitely a position that I think we need to grab. So we'll look at Joe Klopfenstein. 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 I don't. We're looking at Joe. We're looking at Joe. 58 to 93. Let's see what he comes back as. And he comes back at a 65 to 81. So still not terrible there. All right, so the tight end position looks pretty decent, right? Like no guy besides Vernon Davis who's a beast. Now Vernon Davis at seven, maybe that's that's a guy we could be looking at right there also. These guys have very, very low floors. Maybe Dominic Bird to see what he could do. And Dominic Bird is, we have to scout him again, 64 to 83. 66 to 82, so he's not bad either. Like I said, really, we have depth here at this position. Mercedes Lewis doesn't look bad at all. David Thomas doesn't look bad at all. I don't know how many of you guys could go in the first round. Maybe Vernon Davis could be that seventh overall pick if he's there. If not, you're looking at second rounders. Maybe Mercedes Lewis, a David Thomas, um, a Dominique Bird, Joe, or Anthony Fasano could all be guys to look at maybe round two. Maybe Anthony Fasano could be round three type of guy. I don't really know. Like I said, we don't have any mock drafts. So we don't know where anybody's truly going to fall. When you look at left outside linebacker, a position that we definitely want to upgrade, right? You have Lonnie Scott. He looks like a guy I really, really like. The 89 potential is great right do we want to go with him aj hawk doesn't have as high of a potential but his floor is higher so you look at aj hawk as a potential guy who could go seventh overall because that floor is really so high you look at chad greenway he's a first rounder maybe a second rounder um, robbie mcintosh could be a guy that maybe you could get a little bit later he's 24 years old coming out of the draft which could be a little concerning if anything but a lot of these guys don't look terrible, but those are really the four. I don't even think I want to waste scouting points on anybody else. Really, those are the four. The four left outside linebackers. We just need to get one. That's it. We just need to get one of these left outside linebackers. I think we're fine. Middle also looks very suspect. We'll look at Dequel Jackson. He could be a very good guy. And 68 to 80. So that's not bad either, middle linebacker. And it's very, very, oh, just average. Just very average class. Cornerback position, I really don't think we need to. I mean, I know some guys like Ty Hill could be better than Namdi Asawai, but he's 24 years old. Jimmy Williams looks decent. Tonyo Cromartie looks pretty decent as well. Jonathan Joseph looks like maybe the best guy in this class when it comes to just being safe and getting the job done. But I think with Namdi Asamwai, we are going to just roll out the season. If he's terrible, um, then of course, we can always look next year. Strong safety is a position we can upgrade at. We only have four people to scout left. Michael Huff, he's a beast. I mean, he's 24, but he's a beast. Dante Whitner, a little bit younger. Lower floor, but their potential is the same thing for a guy who's two years younger. So maybe Dante Whitner could be a guy that we go after. Calvin Lowry doesn't look terrible. Look at Darnell Bing, see what his fully scouting ability is. 60 to 75, maybe get him later, later in the draft. But really... Like I said, it's tough to really gauge this thing. You just have everybody that kind of goes through your board. So I'm hoping having a full year to kind of put this thing together as opposed to just, you know, a couple of months that we had. In the future, we could get a more solid, more solid board. So we'll look at Chad Jackson here. He looks like he could be very solid. 75 to 84. So we're not really looking for another wide receiver technically, but... We'll look at Sonoris Moss as well. Speedster, right? 
70 to 81, but he has that speed. And so does this Chad Jackson guy. Santonio Holmes maybe is the last guy we look at, or do we look at a Derek Hagan? Derek Hagan was supposed to be that guy coming out. He's 24 years old. Santonio Holmes, a little bit younger. We'll look at him, see if we get him scouted. Bam, 79 to 87. So they're telling me Santonio Holmes is going to be a beast. We'll consider that, though. I don't know if I want to go receiver early, but we'll consider Santonio Holmes because that overall so high. All right, guys. So Operation Trade Ted Washington. So the Bills don't have the greatest defense of tackle depth in the world. So let's see if they'll want them. They're also not a team, though, that is um that is really trying to win now. So I don't know if they'll want a 38-year-old defensive tackle. But we're going to try to throw him out there since Ted Washington wants to hold out. We could um, try to get something back. So let's see. Let's start here at a three. So they're not even serious about that one. But really, I'm just trying to, if I get him off, off our books, of course, we still got to pay the guarantees of the million dollars. We'll still owe a million bucks, which is okay with me. Try for a fifth rounder. Bam. So maybe could have got a four. We got a fifth rounder for Ted Washington. He wants to hold out. Fine. We made the trade. And that's essentially all we needed to get done here. So if you hold out, you get traded. That's the moral of the story. You hold out, at least on my team, our team, you hold out, you get traded. All right, so we finally got an email literally a week before the draft telling us that we could see the order of the draft picks. Let them do a very good job of um, really helping you out. But let's see what this draft section is. Literally the order. And I'm guessing it'll tell you, well, it said in the email, it'll tell you who got drafted. Like I said, no mock draft. For a game this detailed, I'm really surprised that they don't have that. All right, guys. So for whatever reason, they won't even allow me to look at um, who's on the in the draft class right before the draft. So we're not going to be able to see the players in the draft class again to the actual draft. So us kind of getting our draft board kind of ready isn't going to happen. So that kind of sucks. But we were able to kind of change the depth chart. So we use all of our time to move around the depth chart. So, of course, Kerry Collins is there still. Lamont Jordan is there. We finally moved Randy Moss up where he belongs. Jerry Porter, number two. Right now we have Doug Gabriel, three. We have Ronald Curry, four. We'll see how they play in the preseason, who really gets that third spot, or if we get another wide receiver. Carlos Francis, those are our guys there. Barry Sims is going to start a left tackle. Langston Walker, left guard. Chris Terry, center. Ron Stone, right guard. And Robert Gallery at right tackle. Tight end, we have Teo Johnson, 61 to 82, 24 years old. And then we have C. Anderson, 57 to 79 overall at 25, but he's 6'7" which is very, very good. Those are our tight ends for now. We'll see if we address the tight end spot during the draft. I plan on it, but we'll see. Defense in line, you have Bobby Hamilton at left end. You still have Clitidius um, Clitidius, Hunt, I believe his name is. Warren Sapp are our guys at defensive tackle. Right end is good with Derek Burgess. We move Charles Woodson up into the starting lineup for cornerback. So we had Charles Woodson, Namdi Ansawai. Then we have... I believe it's Fabian Washington at three. Him and Namdi Ansawai, rating-wise, I just like Namdi Ansawai. So we're going to give him the spot at two for now. But I can see, realistically, we end up going with Washington and then letting Namdi kind of be the slot guy for now. Kevin Hardy at left outside linebacker. Danny Clark still at middle. Kirk Morrison, Derek Gibson, and then Lance Schultz. That looks like that is our lineup before we get to the actual draft. There's really not much we could do before the draft. So we have Thursday where we can only trade guys, sign players, and then we have Friday where we could design a play, sign players, and then we're at the draft. So we'll see what happens, but I'm gonna cut this here. Hopefully this video isn't crazy long. We'll try to get these out quickly. The draft will be in the next episode. So based off of really who we were looking at, you let me know who we should try to draft. Of course, we don't know what round, 
but let me know some names that you liked out there of players we could really try to get um, positions that we should try to fill let me know that good stuff or maybe even potential trade scenarios that i haven't thought of so you guys let me know how you guys you know feel about those things in the comment section below i hope you guys did enjoy this episode if you did please remember to go ahead and leave this video a like it helps me out a lot subscribe if you haven't already it's your boy d lloyd i'm gonna see y'all next time peace